Hey, how's it going? Seth here. I want to show you this cool little feature in the land portal that I didn't even notice was here for like the first six or so months that I was using the land portal, but it's pretty cool. So if you look right down here, when you log in, in the lower right corner, you'll see this thing right here. So first of all, we're going to just zoom in on a random property here. It doesn't really matter. And uh, let's just take this one owned by the United States of America right there. This big square property or it looks like a square with a road cutting through it. So let's say we were to buy this thing and we wanted to figure out how deep or wide the property is, how many feet, or maybe we want to subdivide the thing and we want to figure out what ways we could subdivide it and what the sizes of the new child parcels might be in terms of acreage. Well, this tool makes it really easy to do that. The first one here, this little ruler looking icon, what this is going to do is measure the length of the property and feet. And every time you click it, you can then make a new turn and move somewhere else. And as long as you keep going, it's gonna keep measuring how many feet this line is going right up there. Whenever you wanna be done, you can just double click it and it'll stop measuring it. And it'll show you right there, that was 1.83 miles in distance or 9,654 feet in length. I know in the past when I've had to move power poles on my property. This kind of feature would have been super helpful just in understanding how far I could move it and still keep it within the power line easement that was on the property. And this kind of thing is exactly what you would need for that. Another thing you can do here, if we just click this trash button to get rid of that, there's also this area measurement tool, which is kind of a similar thing, but instead of simply measuring the distance in feet and miles, it will measure the acreage of whatever kind of polygon you decide to draw. So if we start up here, click it once, bring it down here, Click it again, bring it over here, and you can kind of see right up there, it's telling us how many acres lie within this triangle. If we click it again, it will continue to grow. As far as you do this, if we move it over here, you can see the acreage is growing. So say if you had one of these 40 acre parcels and you wanted to make four 10 acre parcels, this would be really helpful in just deciding where should those property lines be in order to keep these child parcels at 10 or more acres. Whenever you want to stop measuring, you just double click it, It'll keep it right there. And if you want to, you can create multiple parcels on there. So we could start again and we can make this kind of flagpole shaped parcel. Bring it over here again, again, bring it back there. Now we can see the acreage of the second parcel that we just drew. And we can do this again and again and again, however many times we want, whatever parcel shapes we want to put in there. And again, just double click it and it'll keep adding up those new shapes and telling us what the acreage is of each one. Just kind of a helpful little tool. Again, if you're a land investor, if you're a subdivider, even if you're like a civil engineer and you want to just map out what things could look like, what the potential acreage could be of those properties, it's a great tool to have at your disposal. Again, the land portal is very inexpensive, and this is one of hundreds of different things you can do. It's primarily used to generate and export lists of property owners and get property owner data. That's why most people use this, but it has a lot of these nice property research and even measurement tools built into it. You get this for free just as part of the cost of the subscription. RE Tips here does have an affiliate link to the land portal. If you want to sign up, you can get a thousand free exports if you go through our affiliate link. It's a pretty good deal. Just go to retipster.com forward slash land portal, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. It's an awesome tool. I use this just about every day, it's something I would have a really hard time getting by without and i wanted to make sure you knew about this little feature that's built into it thanks for watching talk to you next time